Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Sonia. And I'm Justin. And we're the Funko Fiends. And today we're taking a look at the Cogsworth pop from the Beauty and the Beast live action movie. So then, of course, taking a look at the packaging, as you can see, we've got the Beauty and the Beast live action logo here up at the top, and the new Cogsworth on the front and sides there with the uh, blue and gold art. And then on the back, of course, we've got Belle, Beast, Lumiere, Cogsworth, Mrs. Potts, and Chip. Celebration Bell, uh, Bell with the Candlestick, which is Barnes & Noble exclusive, Villager Bell, which is Walmart exclusive, Castle Grounds Bell, which is FYE exclusive, and then uh, Garter Road Bell, which is still to be announced. So then taking a look at the figure outside of the packaging, the first thing that we noticed was this little like cannon with some swords, and it almost looks like it's like treasure and stuff on the background there. There's like a little stopwatch right there. So he's got like these really cool, like almost war looking like inscriptions or like I don't even know what to call that. Just like like etched into the front of him. Um, so that's really cool. Like I like the details on that. Um, and then just like all around, like all of his little like you know parts and everything are really really like well molded out, really well detailed. It looks like a really good mold, and it's similar to the paint that was on um, Lumiere. It's got that very like patina looking paint all around on the uh, like the brass parts there, and then the wood is just like that solid you know brown color all around. And I really think that the mold looks really nice, especially like you know the more like leaf looking you know patterns and stuff all over, um, all around look really good. Um, he looks more antique. Yeah, they they both look a lot more antique. Yeah. They, they don't look like cartoony. New. Yeah, they look like they were left in a castle. Like that's how they're yeah, supposed like to look. Like, yeah. Um, and then like looking at the front, um, his face looks really nice. The numbers are actually etched on there very nicely, very clean. Looks really good in that way. Um, and I really like that, especially the face of this figure. Um, and then, like, taking a look at the back of it, he's got, like, the little door that you would usually, you know, for a clock, you would access all the gears and stuff like that. And I think that looks really cool. Um, we did notice there's, like, some of, like, the foggy, like, glue residue on our figure, like, here and, like, down at the bottom. Um, so that's, you know, kind of annoying, but... Um, again, not the end of the world. It's not, you know, anything that I'm going to make a big fuss over. I'm not the pickiest. I mean, we're both not, like, the pickiest people when it comes to Pops. Like, we understand that they make so many of them that there's going to be, you know, errors and stuff here and there. And that's not something that, you know, I'm going to make this big fuss about. And I think all around the, the mold and the paint on this figure looks really nice. And it turned out looking really, really good all around. So then discussing price and how we feel about the figure, I think we pretty much summed up, you know, I really like this mold, I really like the paint, um, the like foggy glue residue stuff on it isn't a big enough of a deal to me to make like, you know, like be a make or break on this figure, and it honestly kind of looks like dust or like, you know, dirt, so it almost like adds to the effect of the figure, like I know it's not probably supposed to be there, but it almost like adds to the figure to make it look dusty and like more rustic and antique looking. Um, and I feel like this figure really turned out really well. I'm, I'm very excited to see this new movie because I think these designs actually look awesome. And um, like overall with these this, these figures like showing the new characters, when I saw the, the pictures of the new designs, I didn't really like them. But then like seeing the pops and um, actually getting a hold of them and seeing them up close like this, I really appreciate them a lot more. And I'm, I'm very excited to see the movie now. Um, what did you have to say about it, though? I'm the opposite. When I saw them, I just got even more excited for the movie. Um, like I said before on one of the other Beauty and the Beast ones, I love Beauty and the Beast. Like, it's one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, so I just, like, love how they're coming out. Um, just, like, the detail that they put into them is so much better. Like, it really shows how far Funko has come in the molds and everything like that. Because, like, the animated, like, the first wave of the animated ones just came out so basic. But... Um, I mean, obviously, I still love them, but I love these more because of how, like, antique they all look. Like, between Mrs. Potts, Lumiere, and now Cogsworth, they all just look so much better and, um, real. Like, they look like real pieces of, um... The clocks and Clocks candles. and, like, the candlestick and stuff like that. She looks like so, China. Um, yeah, and she looks like China, so I really like these. Um, I think they came out really well. Yeah, but um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you did like the video, make sure you guys give it a like. Give us a comment down below. Let us know what you thought or uh, what you'd like to see us review next. I know we're going to be um, finishing out the Beauty and the Beast reviews. I know we've done most of the wave already. Um, but there's a few of the exclusives which haven't really hit yet, so um, we'll definitely be taking a look at those when they come out as well. Um, make sure you guys are subscribed so you see those videos and other Disney stuff and you know we're doing a crazy amount like a crazy range of different stuff right now um, so make sure you guys get subscribed to see all those pop reviews as they come out 
And uh, other than that, you guys have a good one. Good luck out there and keep on collecting. Bye. Hey guys, it's Justin. I just wanted to let you guys know that I've put the button to subscribe and a couple of other videos that we think you might like here up at the end. So press any of these little buttons to subscribe or just to watch another video after this one. Thanks, good luck out there, and keep on collecting.